Here's another episode of the free VST Plugin Detective, where essentially I review, demonstrate, and test out various free VSTs and plugins. This one is the Scurrat London Piano. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. And my Fichero rating on this one, right off the bat, is a 5 out of 5. Now, when it comes to free plugins, and I've talked about this before in other videos, sometimes I see people get a little bit weird being like, oh, you know, it's free. Like, how good can it really be if it's free? And the truth is, this is a prime example that free plugins can be just as good, sometimes even better than plugins that you might buy. Now, I'm going to show you this piece. This is a song that I made called Burn Babylon. Um, I released this on my fourth album, Main Stage. And obviously, for these videos, I like to show you not only the plugin, but how I actually use it, like how you can actually use it in your own track. So I'll give you a little mini preview of this song. Uh, I'm going to be hearing the piano in the beginning too, so... Jumping into the verse. A little like reggae vibe. And then basically goes from that uh, going to the drop into kind of like a dance hall tribal type feel. So like... So obviously a video like reggae, tribal, you know, a little bit of African style uh, drums in there too. And so for this track, obviously, especially before the vocals came in, I wanted to have a melody. And this is typical in production where you have a melody kind of mirror the vocals. So that way, when a listener is obviously hearing it, it kind of prepares them for that melody or basically what's about to happen. Now, in this case, I wanted to use this plugin, obviously, as you saw, I used it here. And uh, this is an amazing plugin. I'll tell you why I give this a 5 out of 5. One, I'm going to say that it's probably my favorite sounding piano plugin. I've tried a lot of different piano plugins. This is so far my favorite, to be honest. Like, this is an insane sound. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Now, I love that sound, right? I think that the sound of the piano is amazing. The second thing, and this is something that is sometimes overlooked when it comes to plugins, is that when you have an, I know this is going to sound kind of weird, but when you have an instrument, an organic instrument, piano, saxophone, oboe, clarinet, etc., when someone's playing it, you're technically hearing two different things. The first is the sound that's coming out of the instrument, right? So in this case, if I'm going to solo this, I'm going to play this, right? I have, I shouldn't put this back on zero, just it's not clipping. Right? You have the sound that you're hearing. The second thing that you have, though, is that you have, and I'm trying to, I was trying to think of a way to word this, you know, the best way. You have the sound of the instrument being Played. And here's what I mean. So when a piano, or when you play a piano, you have the sound coming out, but you also have the sound of the keys hitting the piano itself, right? For a wooden, and I think they specifically say this is meant to obviously simply like an upright piano, you have the sound of the key actually hitting the wood, right? That's an actual sound. So you're technically, when you're playing a piano, you're hearing two different things. You're hearing a little bit of the actual, like almost like an atonal slapping of the key on the wood, and then obviously you're hearing the actual note that's performed by obviously everything else going on with the piano. So when I play this, you'll notice. Uh, let me turn. Oh, is it doing? You can hear that you actually hear that wood tapping sound, right? Because when any piano is played. Like I said, you don't just hear the actual notes, right? If you think about it, a lot of times when I hear a lot of piano VSTs, it almost sounds like very keyboardish because you're just hearing the melody. You're not hearing the actual, and I'm showing you the best word for this, the actual sound of the piano being played itself. Not just the note coming out of it, but the playing sound. And that's what I love about this plug is it seemingly sat perfectly. Right? You can hear that, the actual keys being hit on the wood. And obviously, it's right in the beginning of the note, right? It's right on that first initial hit, but it simulates, especially with everything going on, obviously with the production, it really gives, you know, it creates that authentic piano feel that you really, really want. You know, like I said, a lot of other plugins or piano ones, 
have been just the, the first sound. It's just the sound of the actual note but not the actual sound of piano itself being played. And that's what I love about this plugin. Going back into also the full melody arrangement. Right, and you, you can't beat that, right? And that's why I love this sound of a piano. This is basically my main kind of bread and butter. Anytime you hear a piano in one of my tracks, this is pretty, pretty much my main go-to, right? My, my just... 100% spot on plugin that I know will be perfect just about every time. Now, also looking at the actual layout or the GUI, the graphical user interface of this plugin, you obviously have, it's pretty simple, right? Like I'd say for this plugin, this is one of those plugins that may not look the best. I'm not gonna lie, maybe the, you know, looks a little cheesy. You obviously just have like some letters here and then a picture, but doesn't have to be anything super flashy because the sound that comes out of it is the best. You obviously have your volume or your gain, you have your ADSR. I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, they do have a pan here. I, haven't, I don't really use, adjust the pan. Sometimes I just obviously the ADSR, obviously, depending if I want to have a certain effect or certain, you know, ambiance to it. But besides that, the layout is pretty straightforward. You know, I mean, there's, there's nothing too complicated as you can see here. I think you can click on these if you want. Some plugins allow you to do that. Other plugins don't. Well, you can actually click on the plugin, like with a mouse. Right, you can kind of click on it and hear it, but besides that, it's an amazing plugin, obviously 100% free. So, you know, hence the name of the series. You can never go wrong with downloading a free plugin. The worst that happens you download it and you're like, eh, not for me, and then you delete it. Uh, but in this case, I can't see why you want to delete this, especially for your arsenal of having, you know, a strong piano sound in your tracks. This is the way to go. I, I did classical piano for 10 years, in case you didn't know. That's how I kind of really got into music. So I'm very picky about a piano sound. And that's why, especially for me, like I kind of talked about mostly in this video, is that what I love about this plugin is that it has an authentic piano sound, not just the note coming out of the piano, but the actual playing of the piano itself. And that just creates a way more realistic vibe. It makes it sound and creates it, especially with all the production, everything kind of coming together, you know, within the mix, it gives it like, oh, that's a real piano, as opposed to, you can kind of tell it's fake, but not really, it's kind of that weird sound like this. Sounds perfect in the mix and, you know, also by itself too. Like I've had songs where I just have this playing solo and it comes out amazing. So I cannot suggest enough to check it out. Obviously, this is one of the few plugins that I've given a 100% 5 out of 5 rating just because the sound that comes out of it, even though it may not look the best, the sound that comes out of it is amazing. Definitely check it out. Obviously, I have a link this below. Free download and everything. And if you do like this video, definitely hit a like and subscribe. And in addition to, if you have any free plugins or free VSTs that you would like me to review, definitely post them in the comment section below.